I heard recently in a TED talk that one in three people struggle to get out of bed in the mornings. And that's a crazy statistic and I'm sure that COVID has also impacted that statistic. So the thing is, is, you know, finding your purpose, your mission is hard enough, but actually having the chance to go after it is, is even more of a difficult thing, right? And so as this podcast is all about empowering your mission and mindset, I thought it would be a great discussion today to talk about, you know, unlocking your, your ultimate calling in life. And so I think the first place to really begin is how do we define purpose? And I think my sister really said it best on this podcast. She said that each one of us has a secret inner mission given to us. Just like nature, if you think about a tree, a tree ultimately its roots give us oxygen, give all of us oxygen here on, on earth. Its roots stabilize the soil and it also acts as a habitat for wildlife. And that's a really important analogy because it's clear why a tree is here, but it's also undeniable that as it grows, its purpose is to ultimately serve others. And so when we're born in the beginning, you know, it's up to our parents, our teachers, our guides to really help us unlock what that mission is as we rely upon them to kind of grow, you know, into adults. And sometimes, you know, this is where the blockages begin. We might get let down by the education system. We might get let down by our family. But the thing is, is once we break through all of that and we find out what our passions are, it's absolutely inextricably linked to our purpose because then that's what helps us evolve. That's what helps us grow. And that's like the tree, what helps us find out how we're going to be here to serve other people. And so that's really, you know, the first step to uncover that passion, to figure out how are we going to be that positive life force that's going to help others through their journeys as well on this planet. From there, we realise what do we want to dedicate our lives to? How will our existence pave the way for others to come through in this life? And so in order to do that, you have to go completely outside of your comfort zone. You have to go to different countries, expose yourself to different cultures, different professions, because if you don't, then you completely limit yourself from the magnitude of what could be inside you. It's almost like filling your lungs with only half the amount of oxygen that you need to breathe. Because if you don't define what your core purpose is, then ultimately that leads to blockages and stagnation in the body. So you have to think back, what excites you? What are you naturally talented in? What are your values? And then you've got to completely strip it away from any material possessions or validation. Because ultimately, our purpose should be driven by the impact and the relationships that we have. Taking that macro view of the planet and the world that we live in, the universe, how are we going to help protect and nurture the future generations to survive on this crazy planet? So if you think about this time, even though it's been super hard when everything's been taken away, everything's been stripped back and we're forced to be at home, if you're on your path and you know what you're here to ultimately achieve, then nothing will get in your way because you're a force to be reckoned with. And actually, you find that sometimes in isolation, you're in laser focus. I like to think of your drive as an accelerator pedal. You can either tap on it lightly or push down on it full force, go full throttle and let the knowledge be the thing that fuels you on your journey. Sometimes people ask me, is it too late to find out my purpose? And the thing about purpose is that it's constantly evolving. It's never too late to achieve whatever you want to set your mind to because we're all evolving and growing at different paces. And sometimes it can be a catch-22. If you figure out what your calling is when you're super young, it may like limit you from actually going outside of your comfort zone because you get complacent, you get too used to doing things in the same way. And so it's never too late because truthfully, the alternative is far worse. You can see that when people haven't figured out what truly fulfills them at the core, they become jealous, they become bitter, they resent other people's success. And that's what breeds so much negativity on this planet and for all the other people that come in their path as well. Something that we learned from so many people that have come on the Mission Makers podcast is that a lot of those people didn't have the best hand, but they played the cards that were dealt to them and they played it to their advantage. Some of those people, those industries weren't even defined when they started doing what they wanted to do. Their parents didn't support them on that journey. Being in the dance music industry, being a DJ, it's not a conventional thing. And at the same time, those people never let their parents or the or society limit them from actually going after that because they knew in deep down innately that is what they were drawn to do. And a great example of this was Carl Cox when he talked about how his father didn't really support him on that journey. And if Carl Cox, if you just imagine if Carl Cox didn't do what he did, like wouldn't dance music look different? And how could we imagine techno without someone like him pioneering and paving the way for others? And the other thing about that is also something that's been super noticeable from all of our guests 
is that once they have succeeded and once they've started to get that success, every single one of them has given back. Every single one of them has cared about passing that knowledge to future generations. I even remember when Enzo talked about that very clearly, like being in the motorsports industry again is super, um, it's, it's super one-minded because it's one driver who has a team around them working for one driver's goal ultimately, or one team's goal. And something that Enzo said that always resonated with me was that, you know, he had this dream of being a championship winner and being a race car driver. And, you know, and his journey to get there was super difficult. He was born into a council flat. Racing is super expensive. You need so much money, like millions to go racing. And even once he figured out how to kind of get sponsors and everything else, once he actually got to the top and he got to that peak, he realized that his actual purpose came from helping others to figure out that path and not actually being in the driving seat the whole time. So I think that's something that's been very, very clear from all of the people that have come on this podcast is number one, you know, not letting anything become a limiting belief around going after your passion. And secondly, always serving others as you're growing, as you're evolving, you know, that's where the true fulfillment comes when you're on that life path. So if there's one habit that you can adopt, no matter what stage of growth you're in, is to immerse yourself in nature and take that daily walk, make it a non-negotiable part of your routine. Go back into nature, think about that tree, think about how everything in this planet has been given an actual mission. And it's humans that have got confused along their way. So go out, take that walk every single day and incorporate it into your routine and meditate. It's a game changer and you will see that your mental clarity will flow through your purpose with effortless ease.